The sad reality of today is most people know what it's like to hate what looks back at them in the mirror. It starts small, but slowly it gauze away at you. One day, you look at your reflection, and it's like you're walking through a hall of mirrors. Who you are warps in front of your eyes. Last fall, you shattered and were replaced by anger. That horrible part is suddenly the whole of who you are. Tearing at your arms, hoping it will change the unchangeable, your soul starts to wilt under the weight. One night, you look up at the stars and think to yourself, they're really not that pretty. You go on vacation and pray the sun doesn't come up the next morning so you don't have to leave your bed. You stop talking in the winter. You keep your head down, ducking away from your own reflection. Your body starts to give up too, succumbing to your constant barrage of hate. One day, you're told you're beautiful and you laugh until you're sobbing. Only when your body needs to get stronger does your mind start to quiet down. When the pain comes, it's a blessing. Slowly, your mind gets even quieter. The crushing weight lifts only an inch, but there's finally some fresh air in your soul. You notice for the first time the flowers your mother planted last spring are blooming. In the late summer, you hurt so much you fall to your knees, sadness dripping off your chin, digging your nails into your forearm, wishing the pain would come up too. Later, someone says you're beautiful and it feels okay. Sometimes there are days between feelings. You think maybe the red hot coals burning in your chest are starting to cool. One day, your first thought is about the laundry you forgot in the washer instead of how much you hate yourself. You are introduced to someone who thinks the thing you hate most in this world is beautiful. You take a leap. It feels okay. One fall car ride home, you recognize the constellation you always used to look for in the night sky when you were a child. The moon is bright enough to light your way. Things get even quieter. Sometime later, you look in the mirror again and say to yourself, Turns out I'm really hard to kill.